let us see designing of fsm for divisibility by three tester for decimal numbers okay so from this problem statement it is clear that we are working on decimal numbers so input set is obviously uh, all decimal numbers are made up from uh, 10 symbols which are 0 to 9 right so inputs are here clear uh, there are 10 symbols and they are 0 to 9 okay uh, second is uh, what is output so before going to output uh, given any decibel number if it is divisible by 3 we can say it is uh, output is s and if it is not divisible by 3 we can say output is no so instead of having s and no we will uh, take the values 1 if it is divisible 0 if it is not divisible okay uh, now third uh, thing which is required here which is uh, number of states uh, before going to uh, finding number of states we understand the uh, procedure of division so it is similar to how we divide any number uh, traditionally uh, when we divide the number traditionally uh, when we say it is divisible by 3 if the remainder part is 0 if remainder part is not 0 it is the number is not divisible by 3 so same here we can consider now how many possible remainders here uh, when we divide any number any decimal number by 3 possible remainders are 0 1 and 2 okay so if remainder is if remainder is 2 we can uh, sorry if remainder is 0 we can say number is divisible by divisible by 3 okay so uh, this uh, remainder uh, we can have this remainder as a state so we can say there are three states q0 uh, which uh, say uh, which tells uh, capital letters we are not using mostly so let's take small q0 uh, which uh, which is for reminder 0 then next state so machine can be in one of the three state either in remainder 0 1 2 right so that's why we are uh, taking three states here uh, second state is q1 uh, which is for remainder 1 okay and third is remainder 2 uh, that is q2 which is for remainder 2 okay now uh, we will think uh, how uh, once we have the states here i am just adding all the states uh, in the set which is q0 q1 and q2 okay uh, now uh, we will move to the designing part uh, before that we understand the procedure uh, with the help of uh, this uh, transition table and transition graph right uh, so initially we know uh, money machine is in initially machine is in zero remainder state that is q0 will be your initial state okay in q0 is in q0 state so we can say q0 is initial state okay now uh, one more thing we need to do here uh, we know there are uh, nine symbols here right input symbols are nine okay uh, 
so here we need to consider uh, we can group the symbols uh, such a way uh, they are uh, producing the same remainder okay so we can group this symbols uh, let's say the, if we consider the symbols producing the zero remainder so one set will be here so we can just modify this uh, input or rewrite this input 0 comma 3 comma 6 comma 9 right so this complete set uh, produces the same uh, remainder that is 0 second set is 1 4 5 okay so this set produces the remainder 1 okay and third set is uh, 2 uh, next it is uh, let's say oh, no yeah 1 4 and here it is 7 okay it's a 2 5 and 8 which produces the remainder 2 okay so instead of considering all symbols uh, separately we can group them according to their remainder part now we will see the machine function and state function okay so here machine function we can have uh, for example uh, first we will uh, insert one table for machine function so there are uh, three groups and three states so let's have for this table yeah so here we can consider uh, all the states s0 uh, then here it is s1 now it is s2 uh, i'll take here the group first which is uh, producing the same remainder which is 0 3 6 and 9 okay second group is of 1 comma 4 comma 7 Uh, state or uh, not it's s0 it's q0 it's q1 we'll change it to the q uh, then it's q1 and it's q2 okay uh, so next set of input is it's 2 comma 5 comma Seven. Okay. Now uh, to complete the machine function, uh, we know machine function maps input and uh, the state to the output. Okay. So this entry will be completed by the output symbol. So before completion of this, how we are interpreting this, uh, interpreting this uh, each entry, we can see here. Uh, now machine is in state Q0. Uh, Q0 is for the zero remainder. It means there is no any previous remainder, right? So uh, how number will be formed? The machine is in state zero means the previous remainder is zero and input is from one of the input from this set so it may be a 0 0 uh, number can be a 0 0 or number can be a 0 3 or it is 0 6 or it may be 0 9 okay so if you divide any number by 3 we know the output is what is the output it is divisible all these numbers are divisible by 3 so we can say this is just for reference I have given uh, for understanding output will be yes. Okay. So main thing is uh, we need to complete all entries with the output only either 1 or 0. Right. Because this is a machine function. Now here uh, now you are in state Q1. Right. Machine is, when machine is in state Q1 if the remainder is previous remainder is 1. Okay. And we know in traditional uh, division, we concatenate previous uh, remainder with the uh, next digit uh, from that decimal number. 
So here you can say the number uh, previous remainder is one, and uh, input is from the set. So number can be one zero, it can be one three, it can be one six, or it can be one nine. Okay. So if you divide uh, any number by three, uh, what would be the remainder? It is, yeah, it is one, right? Three threes are nine, so remainder is one. Three fours are twelve, so remainder is one. Three fives are fifteen, so remainder is one. So in any case, it is not divisible by three, so output will be here. It is zero. Okay, so output is here. Zero. So I'm just uh, writing the output hence after. Okay, this is just for understanding. I have written the numbers, and I will complete this entry. Uh, now remainder is previous remainder is two, and input is from again from the set. So number can be formed twenty. Yeah, it is uh, then twenty-three, then twenty-six, or it may be twenty. Nine. So if you divide any number by three, there is no any. Uh, it is not completely divisible by three. So output is zero. Okay. Yeah. So we can write here output is zero. Okay. Now we you understand how to complete the entries. Now we will directly follow the output symbol. This is just for understanding. I have marked the numbers here. But this is not expected, okay? So this is just for your understanding, okay? Now here we will see previous remainder is zero uh, since you are in state Q zero, okay? Uh, so you are in state Q zero and number can be uh, from this set one four seven. So uh, it's simply one four seven. So it is not divisible by uh, three. So the output is zero, okay? Uh, so here number can be 11 14 17 again it is not divisible yeah it here number is 21 24 27 so it is divisible so you can mark with 1 next a number can be 20 it can be 50 uh, sorry it can be 2 5 7 so it is not divisible since remainder is 2 okay yeah here number can be 12 15 17 it is divisible so number is 1 output is 1 So here number can be 22, 25, 27. Again, it is not divisible, so it is output is zero. Okay. Uh, so uh, machine function table is completed. Now we move to the state function. Okay. I'll copy the same table. Yeah. So we can do it for the state function. i uh, we know the state function what it does which maps input and state to the next state okay so here instead of uh, this uh, output symbol what we can do uh, we are replacing this output with the next state okay now same logic is here again so here you can see the number can be 0003060909 So when you divide this number by three, uh, the remainder is zero. So next state will be the S. Uh, sorry, Q zero. Okay. Again here it is. Uh, yeah. Uh, your numbers is one zero thirteen sixteen nineteen. If it is divisible by three, uh, if when we divide it by three, the next uh, remainder is one. Okay. So the next state is again here. It is. Yeah. It is Q one. Okay, so depending on the uh, remainder, you move to the next state. Here, remainder is two, so we can move to the next state, which is Q two. Right? Now here, uh, the number uh, can be it's zero one, sorry one four seven, because zero one is same as one, zero four is same as four. So if you uh, divide this number by three, remainder is one, so next state is Q. One, okay, yeah. Like this, you can complete all the entries here. So here, remainder is uh, two when we divide the number by eleven, fourteen. Uh, uh, this all these numbers when we divide by three, remainder is two. So next state is Q two. 
yeah here also you can complete it is uh, completely divisible by 3 so remainder is 0 so next state is q 0 uh, for this it is q2 since remainder is 2 uh, for this here it is uh, completely divisible so no uh, there is remainder 0 so we can complete this with q0 and here the remainder is uh, 22 25 27 so it is remainder is 1 so we can complete this entry with q Okay, now we have completed both the tables, state function, machine function. Same logic we can use uh, for the transition graph. So, we will move to the transition graph. So, this is a transition graph for given problem. As you can see, here, uh, there are three states, uh, Q0, this Q1 uh, and this is Q2. So, this state uh, 0 is for remainder 0, 1 is for remainder 1 and Q2 that is for remainder 2. So, as we know initially machine is in, uh, machine is in uh, initial state that is Q0, there is no any remainder. Now, we will see how it works for, uh, let us see the behavior first. So, from Q0, already we have seen all inputs and state in machine function and state function. Just we will... Uh, verify for one state q0 from q0 if input is 0 3 6 9 so number will be 0 0 0 3 0 6 0 9 so it is divisible and no remainder so it is divisible so output is 1 and no remainder so it goes to the same state from q0 if input is this 1 4 7 so number become 0 1 0 4 0 7 so it is not divisible and remainder is 1 so it goes to the q1 right uh, we will take one more with q1 from q1 let's say input is 257 right yeah uh, from q1 if input is 257 number will be formed 12 15 17 so uh, it is divisible so output is 1 and it goes to the q0 with remainder 0 so this is a working of uh, the state now we will see uh, how it works for uh, any input right so let's say we are taking the input uh, which is uh, 73 right uh, and we know the division is from it it happens from left to right okay so the first uh, uh, let's start with the uh, initial state uh, it is q0 okay and uh, input is uh, 7 right so input is 7 means uh, if from q0 if input is 7 we will check where it goes uh, for input 7 it goes to the state q2 so next state is uh, q2 and uh, next input is now 3 okay so from q2 on input 3 we will see where it goes okay from q2 on input 3 we, we are going it is on the same state because number is 23 now and uh, 23 is not divisible so it goes to the same state uh, which is q2 and uh, output is here output is 0 because it is not divisible right so so given number 73 is not divisible by 3 okay and remainder it gives so output is 0 so it gives the output uh, we can write here output is 0 uh, because it is not divisible uh, and uh, the this remainder is 2 because it ends at the state q2 okay so i think this is clear uh, how this uh, FSM works for any decimal number you can try for any number of digits uh, you will find it will work yeah thank you